So we're going to demonstrate what a Reiki session actually looks like. And this would be a Reiki session if you came to my home office or if we're in another setting where we're able to set up a massage table, which we have here. And here with me today is Doreen. She's come to me for a Reiki session. And um, first I'd ask my client, uh, what brings you here today? Thank you for asking, Justine. Sure. I came here today for a Reiki session. I'm feeling a little stressed and uh, some pain in my calf. How long have you had the pain in the calf? For about a week now. All right. So uh, let's have you get on the table. I'm going to have you start face up. Okay. All right. Thank you. Once I'm ready to begin the session, I normally start by scanning the body. And that is allowing me, or allowing the Reiki rather, to tell me where the client might need to receive some additional healing or extra attention. So as I allow my non-dominant hand to work about four to five inches off the body, I'm sensing where there might be areas that would just like a little extra attention. And here I'm working with both the aura as well as the chakras, if you're familiar with the chakra system. And I'll go down one leg. And I'll come back up and go down the other leg. I'm going to now proceed with the next portion of the treatment session, uh, which involves my actually placing my hands on the client in a certain sequence that focuses directly on each of the chakras in the body. So I usually start at the third eye. And in this case, I'm not actually placing my hands on the client because I don't want to press into her eyes. Now, each of the positions that you're going to see demonstrated here, I would normally hold for approximately two to three minutes each. But of course, for the sake of this uh, demo, I'm just gonna take you through each one, explaining what I'm doing without taking too long in each position. And then I proceed to the crown. And then I'd go down to the ears, either side of the head. And then moving on to the shoulders, the throat chakra. And then just sliding one hand under and one hand on top. I'm now focusing the Reiki energies on the heart chakra. I'm now going to proceed with the solar plexus. And I would just mention at this point that um, although these specific positions are usually requisite, um, with Reiki, there is no right or wrong, and I will sometimes go out of sequence, as it were. And sometimes I will utilize additional positions if I'm intuitively guided to do so by Reiki. And or if the client has indicated, as Doreen has with me today, that she has a specific issue going on in her right, was it the right calf, Doreen? Yeah. yeah. So now the sacral chakra. And the root chakra. Now, of course, those of you who know where the root chakra is actually located physically on the body, we're not going to go there. Um, but in this position, the lowest possible position, just above the uh, pubic bone, the hip bone, 
we're addressing the root chakra, just in case you were wondering. So here you can see I've repositioned myself at the head again after Doreen has been so kind to turn over. So I'm going to bring my hands now to the base of the skull. the shoulders. And then we'll proceed with the positions down the back. Again, I would be holding each position for approximately two to three minutes during the course of a, an actual session. A total session lasts about 45 to 55 minutes, give or take. Now, normally I'd ask my client if she was ready to turn over, but since Doreen mentioned something specifically going on with the calf, I believe it was the right calf, I'm going to address that as well. And I would just take a moment to mention to you that even if I didn't specifically place my hands on the area of concern, since Reiki is energy, no matter where I actually place my hands, the energy is going to go where it's needed most by the recipient in order for healing to occur. And again, healing occurs on all levels, not just physical. It's not purely physical healing. It's mental, emotional, and spiritual, or metaphysical, if you will. So now we have Doreen positioned face up once again. And um, now at this point, I'm actually going to place my hands on either hip. And I do that very often, especially with my female clients, as they tend to find that very comforting. How does that feel, Doreen? Okay. She's in a state of bliss right now, so she's not inclined to say too much. And then I proceed to the knees, and I always make sure I address the knees even if there is no specific issue going on with the knees per se, because the knees are a very important um, area in the body because a lot of energy passes through that area. It's sort of the Grand Central Station uh, for the energy in the body, if you will. And then I proceed down to the feet. Actually, in her case, I'm also going to do the ankles, another important junction of energy. And because Doreen has been having issues with that uh, calf pain, it wouldn't hurt to address the ankles as well. And then I'll proceed on, going to the feet, first one foot and then the other. And I always like to end, make sure I end the sequence, the hand sequence, at the feet for the purposes of grounding, helping the client ground and be fully physically in their body, energetically in their body. Now that completes the hand sequence, but not the entire treatment session yet, because at this point I will usually stand back from the client a few feet or possibly even across the room, and I will now beam Reiki 
to the recipient's entire aura from head to toe. Then I will come back to it towards the client and proceed to brush or sweep the aura. So think of it as, you know, like when you sweep your house, you're just getting rid of any residual debris. So we're doing that energetically, getting rid of any residual energetic debris uh, since we've cleared out everything. And then I come back to the client and seal the healing. And that's what a Reiki session looks like. So usually at the conclusion of a Reiki treatment session, I will ask my client if there's anything they'd like to share. So Doreen, is there anything you'd like to share with me about your session today? I feel very calm and relaxed. So I feel like this was a very good session for me. That's great. And you're welcome. And were there any sensations or feelings that came up during the session? I felt a lot of heat coming from your hands when your hands were on my path. Mm -hmm. It was very relaxing. So at this point in the session, I would usually ask my client if they'd like to schedule another appointment. Um, and I also let them know that if anything should come up for them between sessions, they're more than welcome to reach out to me, call me, text me, email me, and let me know what's going on. It's not uncommon after a session to have a more restful, peaceful sleep that night. Some people find they have more vivid dreams. Um, and there are usually lingering effects, um, such as feeling more relaxed and relieved of stress for the following few days. Sometimes it lasts longer than that. Um, but that pretty much wraps up our session for today. And I want to thank you, Doreen, for being here with me today. Thank you, Justine.